Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a refrigerator deep clean and a Trader Joe's haul, a really big haul. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and it gives you some motivation to get your spaces cleaned up in your home. And also it gives you some great food ideas of items to go pick up at your local Trader Joe's. So guys, before we head off, off to Trader Joe's, let's start off cleaning out the refrigerator. And I try to do this every week. We grocery shop every single week, so I try to do this every week before we go grocery shopping. Um, this isn't a deep clean, but I did go through everything and I did wipe down stuff. Like here they have crumbs, so I tried to wipe down things. But we had some food that had got lost in the back that was expired. So I made sure, made sure to throw out all of that stuff and I reorganized just a bit. And I have, I love making content that has to do with home decor, organizing, just making our home tidy and cozy for my little family. The four just makes my heart so happy. So if you guys enjoy that sort of content, don't hesitate to join my YouTube family. And I will have my Instagram linked down below. On there, I share tips and tricks about motherhood. And then I also share fashion for me and the kiddos so if you guys enjoy all of that lifestyle mama content make sure you follow me on instagram as well and this is a little cameo from my little girl brooklyn she was getting ready and grabbing trying to grab a snack um while i was cleaning out the refrigerator but she is three years old and she is sassy and fun and I love her so much and I can't believe, I'm in disbelief that she will be four in December. Like where does the time go? It goes by so fast. But yes, I will have a four year old. Um, but yeah, I'm just continuing to go through the refrigerator. I'm reorganizing just a bit. Like I said, this is not a deep clean, but I like to have things nice and orderly before I bring in new groceries each week. And then I'm going to show you an overview of everything done before I head off to Trader Joe's to do our weekly shopping. And also let me down know down in the comments below, do you guys do bi-weekly shopping or weekly shopping? We are a weekly shopping family and every week we head off to the grocery store and we replenish our stock and supplies. Hi guys, we are back from the store and we spent a grand total of $235.12. And I'm gonna show you guys everything that we picked up. There's food here and then food on the back counter. So the first thing that we grabbed were these pepperonis to make sandwiches. I grabbed this um, five spice Chinese and Asian style chicken noodle salad for a quick lunch idea. We got some puffs for the kids' lunches. Um, these wraps here for tacos. And then some chili and cheese tamales for a quick meal. Brie, we always buy brie. And then we picked up this cauliflower thins. They're little, um, just like bread substitutes. So great if you're doing like keto. Two packages of chicken sausage. Um, the apple and mango organic so um, pouches. Brooklyn loves these. Some fully cooked uncured bacon. A big thing of organic 1% um, milk. I've never seen these before, but these were for quick and easy meals. Um, the 
ricotta and spinach tortellini. I got two of those. Some pizza sauce, um, chicken enchiladas, um, chicken sausage and herb, um, garlic and herb chicken sausage, some tomato soup, tomato and feta, some broccoli soup for me, delicious garlic dip, um, the fresh, fresh mozzarella cheese. Um, you guys saw earlier, we did have one in still in the refrigerator. That one's from Aldi, but this is my family's favorite. They love the Trader Joe's one over any of the others. Some more meat. We got Italian dried salami. That's the one with reduced sodium. Two packs of this vegetable fried rice, which is my favorite. The sourdough bread to make our kids sandwiches. That's kind of their favorite bread. Two packs of the shredded mozzarella cheese. Some organic apples already sliced up. And then these are our favorite at our house, the strawberries and cream and banana and cream yogurt. So over here, we got some orange chicken, which is absolute fave. And I've never seen these before. This um, four cheese pasta with spinach. So I thought that would be great for like a quick lunch to throw in my lunch. So um, garlic breadsticks, pork belly, almond flour. Um, we love our favorite olive oil to get is the one from Trader Joe's and because it comes with the spigot and everything. So we got some olive oil, baby bell cheeses, this queso dip, um, Parmesan cheese, the shredded, and then also the shaved. And then I love these little shrimp, the shrimp tempura. And then I'm going to show you guys all of the fall items we picked. So fall items, which I was so excited to find at Trader Joe's. We got this hunted house um, chocolate cookie kit. And I'm so excited to do that with our kiddos. This pumpkin brioche bread. And I think I'm going to try to make French toast with it, which will be so yummy. We got this um, Halloween Joe's cookies. Um, they're like little Oreos, but they're pumpkins. And that'll be so adorable for lunches. And then we have some pumpkin. So pumpkin um, roll, cinnamon rolls. These apple cider donuts. We're all in with the fall. <laughs> these ghosts and bat chips to eat with um, dip. I bought two of these butternut squash mac and cheeses. Mm, I'm so excited to try those. And then two of these honey and roasted pumpkin. And then I was so excited I found the leaf tortilla chips. So those are just the fall items that I was able. They had a ton more, but some things I knew that just wouldn't be my thing. But yeah, I was so excited that I found this stuff at Trader Joe's. They had pumpkin like cookies there. They just had a ton of stuff, pumpkin galore. So if you are in the market for cute pumpkin items, head on over to Trader Joe's. All right, guys, that is it. I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one.